In this video, you'll learn step-by-step -step how to set up Google Search Console for your WordPress website. When you first create a website, Google doesn't automatically know it exists. It's your responsibility to let Google know that your site is live. That's exactly where Google Search Console comes in. In today's video, I'll show you the complete process of submitting your website to Google Search Console and how to make sure Google keeps visiting your site regularly to scan new posts and index them so they can start ranking on search results. Also, we will show you the secret method of how to force Google to index your just published post right now. Here is one of my existing websites. By submitting your website to Search Console, you can easily measure your performance in Google rankings. So, Let's jump to the main tutorial. Search Google Search Console in Google. Click on this link. Then click on Start Now. After logging in, click on Add Property from here. Then you will see, as a pop-up, that domain verification seems a little technical for most of us. I prefer to use URL prefix. Just copy the website URL and paste it here, make sure it contains the HTTPS. Then continue. This time, we have to verify our domain. They gave us many ways to follow. I personally prefer using the HTML verification method. We need to download this file and upload it to our website. Click to download. It downloaded. Now go to the admin dashboard of the website we will upload the HTML file to verify that it's really our website. Add a new plugin, search Filester, install and activate it. Click on the File Manager section. The first path where you see the WP Admin, WP Content, etc., upload that downloaded file. You can drag and drop here, or you can click on that button to get an upload pop-up. Once uploaded, go back to the Search Console and verify. Ownership verified. Our site is showing here. Currently, no stats are showing because Google Search Console takes about 48 hours to show analytics data. So wait for that period to see which keywords ranked in Google. And here is one thing to be concerned about, which is the sitemap. So what is it? A sitemap is an XML file where your website's important pages are listed in a structured format. It helps search engines like Google understand the layout of your site and crawl it more efficiently. For example, if you've published a new blog post or updated a page, the sitemap tells Google, hey, there's fresh content here, come check it out. Without a sitemap, some of your pages might not get indexed properly, especially if they're not linked from your homepage. So find your sitemap XML file. If you are using any SEO plugin like Rank Math or Yoast SEO, find the sitemap URL from there. Or you can check these links and see which works for your site. Just paste the sitemap XML portion, then submit. In most cases, it shows couldn't fetch for the first few hours or days, but don't worry, just go to the sitemap and open it. See if the sitemap can be accessed. It's working. Google crawler robots will check this page regularly and index it to their server. Another thing I can't wait to share with my viewers is instant index submission. Whenever you publish a news or blog and you want Google to instantly check the URL and make it available in Google, URL inspection will help you. For example, there is a post published on my website. Just copy the URL, then paste it here, and press Enter. It starts scanning. This URL is not on Google. For a quicker index, click on Request Index.
It says, indexing requested. If everything is fine, your post will be available on Google within a few hours. So this is all about how to set up Google Search Console for your WordPress website. You learned how to add your website to Google, how to submit sitemap, and how to request the index of your blog post in Google Search Console. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section.